Patchy fog could cause some issues for the morning commute, but then we're going to be warming up, it sounds like. Meteorologist Kate Bilo is back now with your full forecast. Hey, Kate. Hey, Yuki. Well, yeah, we've got kind of an interesting forecast. Some ups and downs. First, the ups as we warm up into the weekend, but we've got a few systems to be watching. The biggest one, not until the middle of next week, so there's still a lot of moving parts with that, but certainly a lot to keep an eye on. So let's start in the near term with a live look outside our studio here. Our camera on the roof looking out over the beautiful skyline of Philadelphia. No fog just yet. Conditions are clear still. It's 36 degrees. It's chilly. You can see the dew point is pretty close to the actual temperature. So the atmosphere is moistening up a little bit, and that's why we are going to expect some fog to form through the overnight hours with a calm wind, warm, moist air starting to flow in. Again, watch for patchy fog tomorrow morning, mainly between about 5 and 7 a.m. And again, temperatures down near the freezing mark. That means on some of those colder surfaces, there may be a few slick spots. It's not going to be too widespread, but something to keep in mind. And then by mid morning tomorrow, we're already warming up to near 50 degrees, and temps are headed to the mid 50s tomorrow. It's going to feel pretty balmy compared to the beginning of the work week. Storm scan three, once again, not showing anything at all. We'll skip through this quickly. Tonight's low down to 33 degrees. It's dry, it's chilly. Clear for now, but some patchy fog will form as we head into tomorrow morning. After that fog mixes out, it's a sunny, beautiful Friday. We're looking at a high of 56 degrees to finish out your week. Sunny, very comfortable for December. Winds are out of the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, future weather shows some moving parts again for the weekend. It's one system really that's going to be impacting us, but there could be a few showers right here Saturday morning. Then it dries out a bit Saturday afternoon. Another chance for showers. Sunday morning, mainly down the shore. And then I do think we'll see some clearing on Sunday afternoon. So it's just kind of up and down through the weekend, dodging a few drops. Showers likely early Saturday, then some clouds. Showers east Sunday morning. I think Sunday afternoon is probably the nicest part of the weekend with a high near 60 and lots of sunshine. Another system passes to our south on Monday with the chance for a little bit of rain or showers in the morning. Wednesday is the day to watch. Now it's really interesting because we're within two weeks of having the longest snow drought on record. It's been over 600 days since we've gotten an inch of snow in Philadelphia. And now we've got this potential storm next week. It's still long term, but there is the chance we may see some rain or snow depending on the track of that system. If it tracks further north, it's all rain. Further south, though, and we've got an interesting situation. So your eyewitness weather seven day forecast sunshine tomorrow, a spotty shower Saturday. Sunday clears out and it's nice and warm, the high 60. Morning showers Monday, and then keep your eye on Wednesday. I know I will. We'll be tracking the path of that storm and whether we could see that inch of snow and come in just right on under mm -hmm. that threshold, mm -hmm. Yuki, of the longest snow drought on record. We'll send Ooh, it back over to you. I'll be watching, Arcade. Thanks so much.